Hey guys, if you're familiar with Procreate brushes, you already know that they're pretty awesome. And the greatest thing about them is, is that you can change their size depending on your drawing. It gives you so much flexibility. But while changing the size is pretty easy, it could be annoying to going, going back and forth choosing the right size. So in this tutorial, I'll show you how to remember up to four favorite brush sizes and opacity settings. And I promise this will make your life easier. So you probably already know that you can adjust the brush size and opacity by moving the sliders on the sidebar. So the first slider, the upper slider, will change the size of your, of your brush. And if you go up, it will increase the size. And if you go down, it will decrease the size. The lower slider uh, adjusts the opacity of your brush. And if you go up, it will increase opacity. And if you go down, it will decrease opacity, make your, making your line more transparent. So when you move the sliders, you will notice this little menu pop up and you will see the percentage, in this case, the size percentage and this little plus sign. So to remember the brush, you have to press this little plus sign. So let's say I use 35% the most and I want to save this brush size. So in order to do that, I will just tap this little plus sign and you will see the little notch on my slider. That means I save this size. And if I go and hop over this little notch, you will notice that it will show 35%. You can save up to four different sizes. Just doing the same thing. And you can also do the same to opacity. But because they, it gives you a save only four different um, settings, you're a little lim limited and you might find yourself in a situation where you need to delete one of them or all of them. So in order to delete this little notch, all you have to do is just tap on it and you will notice this little menu pop up again. But now instead of the plus sign, you will see the minus sign. So just tap on it and you will notice that it will delete this specific size of the brush. And that's all for this video. I hope this was helpful. And I hope this little trick will save you a lot of time, making your, making your life easier and drawing experience a little more happier.